So I'll say two things. That's a really interesting way of framing it. There's two things that are that are important to keep in mind. One is he is actually curiously more ideological than we think. It's just that his ideology is centrist, which is an which is actually a, a substantive idea. Because it doesn't just mean that you go where anybody tells you to go. I mean, his friend, the great Congressman Jim Clyburn, who after all was a pretty important reason why Biden won the presidency. You'll remember Jim Clyburn is a congressman from South Carolina, the you know the, the, the longest serving African American in Congress, and he is uh, he is somebody who calls himself a centrist, and he gets he gets criticized by younger activists who say, "Why would you call yourself a centrist? You should call yourself a liberal. Call yourself something else." He says, "No, no, no." He says, "Because in American politics, in our history." We tend to go to the extreme one after another, but that means that we pass through the center every time and we spend twice as much time in the center as we do at either extreme. And that's why I'm centrist. And he and Biden have, have that very much in common. And I think you know, if, you're, if you want to define what Biden's governing idea is, it's that he basically believes that a lot of the vitriol on the, on the extremes of our politics uh, that they do not reflect what he believes is uh, the basic balance at the center of American political culture. We may be a little more center left than we are center right at any given moment, but that we are not, in fact, uh, the most, the shrillest voices out on either end of the spectrum, that that's not a real reflection. And that was his belief in this primary. And it's worth reminding ourselves, you know, he was the most conservative member of the Democratic field out of 27 Democrats to run, he was certainly the oldest, um, but he had a piece of data at the heart of his campaign. And that data said that most Democrats today describe themselves as either moderate or conservative Democrats. They don't describe themselves as progressive or liberal. And most of them are over the age of 50. And so Joe Biden knew where the field was. He knew where the electorate was. Frankly, he knew it a lot better than I think people in my profession did and a lot of his opponents. Yeah, I-